definition. From the station on your side, this is Waiting News Online. All eyes are on Norfolk tonight after the second light rail crash at the same intersection. Chopper 10 provides a really good view of what happened here. Police say the driver of that van you see, Haywood Waller, made an illegal right turn and then hit the train. All evening, we've been calling city and HRT leaders to find out if they think there's a problem here. Then on your side, Jason Marks was at tonight's city council meeting. For the second time in less than a week, Police were out at the light rail crossing at Brambleton and 2nd Street for a crash involving a train. As these incidents happen, when they will, we're going to investigate them appropriately. Police say today's accident was caused by a 70-year-old driver. We're told he disobeyed a sign telling him not to turn at the intersection. His van and the train both ended up with front end damage. In this case, every indication is that our train clearly had the, the right of way. Right after the crash, HRT officials were out looking at the crossing. They say even though there have been two crashes before the first passenger ride, it's no reason to panic. But believe me, I'm not happy that it happened by any stretch of the imagination. It, from what I know, it doesn't shake my level of confidence at, at all. Ten on your side took our concerns to city leaders. The mayor was busy with city council duties, but spokesman Bob Batcher says these kind of crashes were expected. Safety has been a huge concern on both the city and HRT's point of view because of the kind of history that we've heard from other cities. City leaders are working with HRT. We're told if there's a trouble spot, such as 2nd Street, they'll look for ways to improve safety. There's been up, uh, upgrades through the testing period, through the construction period, and now even today there was a review of that particular intersection to see if there are some improvements that can be made. Light rail scheduled to begin operating this Friday. Officials say even after passengers start catching the tide, they'll continue to hammer home the safety messages. Jason Marks reporting. This is the same intersection where a car hit the light rail train last week and police say that car kept going. Investigators say the accident damaged the front bumper of one of the cars here. The driver of that vehicle still hasn't been found. Now in high definition from the station on your side, this is Super Doppler 10 online. Get ready for another nice day for tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be back in the mid to upper 80s, 76 by 9 o'clock by noon, 84 degrees. We'll start off with the smoke mostly into North Carolina, and then that will change as the wind will shift to more of the southerly direction. That'll push it northward back across portions of Hampton Roads and could go as far north as the Middle Peninsula. Uh, temperatures around uh, 6 o'clock, around 84 degrees. Seven-day forecast reveal, reveals 80s over the next seven days and rain chances late Thursday through early Saturday. Another chance again late Monday into Tuesday. Stay with Wavy News 10 for all your day's news. Our next newscast is 5 a.m. We'll see you then. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online.